Hello everyone, this is Crazy Alchemist. Today we are going to present you a fascinating organic reaction called Island Clayson reaction. In fact, Island Clayson reaction shares some common mechanisms with what we have learned. So now let's start with what we're familiar with. In cycle two, we have learned the Clayson condensation. That is, two esters condensed to one mole beta keto ester with the loss of one mole alcohol. The reaction is catalyzed by a strong base called sodium isoxide. It is firstly published by Rainer Ludwig Claes in 1887. The reaction involves four stages. Proton transfer. The alpha position is deprotonated to form an ester enolate. Nucleophilic attack. Carbonate carbon is attacked by carbon anion to form a tetrahedral intermediate. Loss of a living group, the alkoxide ion, and subsequent proton transfer. There is also a Clayson Schmidt condensation, which is also known as the Aldor condensation. One typical reaction is the industrial synthesis of cinnamic aldehyde. One more benzaldehyde reacts with one more formaldehyde with a loss of one more of water. In previous lecture, we have learned the Clayson rearrangement. The study material undergoes an intramolecular rearrangement when heating and eventually forms a more stable product. If you have any questions, feel free to review Mark's YouTube video. Cyclic transition state explains the mechanisms of sigmatropic rearrangement. It allows the electrons move along the conjugated system. The carbonate group stabilizes the major product, which favors the right in the reaction. In 1972, Robert Island illustrated a variant of Clayson rearrangement. It converts an aloester to a gamma delta unsaturated carboxyl acid using strong bases and chloro trimethyl silane. It undergoes the similar 3 3 sigmatropic rearrangement as the Clayson rearrangement. The base catalyzed environment allows the reaction to take place in a relatively mild environment. The TMS group is introduced to protect the alkoxy group from nucleophilic attack in the reaction. Now let's go into the mechanism of island clasing rearrangement. First, let me draw you some curly arrows. The island Clayson rearrangement is a chemical reaction of an allylic ester with strong base to give a gamma delta unsaturated carboxylic acid. The third butyl lithium is positively charged, which is attacked by oxygen. Then double bond transfers, which lead to 3 3 sigmatropic rearrangement on the ring. Finally, the oxygen attack proton, which form a hydroxyl. As mentioned earlier, the island Clayson rearrangement is a specific type of Clayson rearrangement. Therefore, the mechanism is a concerted 3 3 sigmatropic rearrangement, which, according to the Woodward Hoffman rules, show a concerted superficial pericyclic reaction pathway. Firstly, I will introduce the Woodward Hoffman rules. It also called pericyclic selection rules, introduced by Robert Burns Woodward and Rod Hoffman. Robert Burns Woodward was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1965, and Rod Hoffman won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1981. It is a set of rules used to rationalize or predict certain aspects of the stereochemical outcome and activation energy of pericyclic reactions. 
which is an important class of reactions in organic chemistry. It is mainly used to analyze electrocyclization reaction, cyclo addition reaction, and sigmatopic reaction. As we studied in organic chemistry class, it is also can be used to analyze group transfer reaction, chiotropic reaction, and zeotropic reaction. For example, thermolysis of compound 1 yields the EE geometric isomer, whereas thermolysis of compound 3 yields the EZ geometric isomer. According to the Woodward Hoffman rules, as with the Claisen rearrangement, the island modification also proceeds with a high degree of stereoselectivity, which is shown below. Now, let's go into the application of island Claisen rearrangement. It is the island Claisen rearrangement of substrates bearing chiroenoether units. L-furanomycin is a naturally occurring cyclic beta-alkoxy alpha amino acid isolated by catagiri from the fermentation broth of streptomyces and its antibiotic activity and the compact nature means that significant synthetic attention has been paid as a vehicle for assessing new methodologies. Due to island glycin 3-3 sigmatropic rearrangement of glycinates containing allylic enoether units as part of a larger research program into new applications of the island glycin rearrangement, these glycinates were rearranged and functional, functionalized syn beta alkoxy alpha amino acids are formed with high levels of stereocontra. The inherent syn beta alkoxy alpha amino acid structure embedded within furanomycin suggested furanomycin as the clear target for its island placement methodology. Application of island glycine rearrangement protocol previously optimized for this diboglycinate di substrates resulted in smooth rearrangement, which after acid methylation allowed isolation of syn beta alkoxy alpha amino acid. And that's the reference. And that's the end of our topic. Thank you very much for the watching.